Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right guys, so today I'm checking out the Apollo by Andar. So not only is this wallet available in full grain crazy horse leather, but it's also available in cork. When I saw this, I knew I had to do a review on it. Let's go. Okay, so when you receive the Andar wallets, it comes in this cardboard box. It says Andar and whatever version of wallet you guys pick. Of course, this one's the Apollo. They make multiple wallets, so I'm gonna go to the website a little later in this video, and I'm gonna show you what Andar is all about. But when we open the cardboard box here, there is thank you card. Their wallets come in this really cool pouch. Um, Andar in the front. All right, so here is the wallet in leather. And like I said before, this is full grain leather and it is crazy horse leather. And if you guys don't know what crazy horse leather is, it basically absorbs, naturally absorbs the oil from your hands. And over time, it starts to look very glossy. And already you can kind of see a nice little sheen happening on this wallet. And every little abrasion, every little scratch that happens on a crazy horse vintage leather wallet starts to turn colors. You see that? It makes it look very much like an antique, like an antique leather. I mean, full grain leather is the highest quality leather you can get. Um, and right below that is the top grain leather. And they just use the highest quality. Look at this. I mean, I haven't been using this too long and look at that it's already starting to wear really nicely i really love the look of this crazy horse leather you can see what i'm talking about fantastic so according to their site this apollo takes all the best features of uh what three of their other wallets it says that it takes the the pull tab from the monarch it takes the id window from the freeman and it takes the money clip and v pocket design from the baron and they jam all that into one wallet called the apollo so the key features here we have five card slots one in the front here with quick access it holds one to ten cards and of course i'm going to be testing that out very shortly there is an id window here for your license um no clear plastic over the window it's just wide open so you can actually uh, slide it out easily with your thumb. All of their wallets are RFID protected and it comes with a one year warranty. All right, so now that's out of the way, let's check out the wallet itself and where we can put all these cards. So right here in the front, we have that quick access card pocket with the little thumb slot on the bottom. And I really love this pocket in the front here. It's so nice and easy to get cards in and out of this right here in the front and then my favorite part of this wallet is this pull tab. So I'll show you the way I have this set up. I have one card here in the front. I have two cards here with the pull tab. And then on the inside, we have two more pockets. I have two cards in here, two cards in here. And then I have my license right here in the ID window. All right, so let's do that now. Let's put a card here in the ID window. Boom. One. Two cards there, two cards there. Awesome. All right, so right now we have eight cards in this wallet. I have two more cards left here, and uh, 10 cards is the maximum amount of cards that Andar says that can go in this wallet. We can put, oops, two more in the pocket here with the band, oops, with the elastic strap here. So yeah. Actually pretty comfortable with 10 cards in here. I mean, it's not that thick at all. I mean, check out the thickness of this wallet. It is still a bifold, all right? This is a bifold wallet, and I would say that's, what, a half inch thick? I mean, this is still considered a slim minimalist wallet, and for it to hold 10 cards and still be this thin is absolutely remarkable. So what I've been doing, I've been putting a card here, using that card, boom, and then flipping it right around and then taking out my credit card here. This is one of the easiest, quickest wallets I've ever used. I've used a lot of wallets and the functionality and the pocket placement and the access, the pull tab here, the quick access to these cards right here is great. So all the other wallets I've had have just been sitting there and I've been actually using this 
and uh, I can't wait for this to start getting glossy. Um, if you guys have never seen Crazy Horse leather when it's really, really worn, Google that right now and see how awesome those wallets look or anything made of Crazy Horse leather. It gets real glossy, real shiny. So we also have the ability to hold cash in here. So there is a little metal clip right here in the middle of the wallet. So I have some cash right here. I mean, if you see here, this wallet is thick enough where I don't have to fold it twice over. I only have to fold it one time. You open up the clip here, take your cash, lay it in there dead center, put the clip on it, fold it over, and you can see that clip just folds right over within the wallet so it's not adding extra bulk to that wallet. And then, bam, there you go. So that's two bills. It's not adding any extra thickness at all to this wallet. Two bills is not gonna do anything. I would say you can hold five or six bills in here the way it is without it starting to add considerable bulk to this wallet. This is actually one of the better cash solutions I've seen in a wallet in a long time. Like I was saying earlier, when it closes, it folds flat within the wallet. So it's a pretty great design. All right, so as great as full grain crazy horse leather is, would you buy this wallet in cork? That's right, they make the same Apollo wallet in cork. According to their website, it says it's a soft, slim, durable cork material, but feeling it, this feels like cork, but it's really durable. I mean, it's not like a cork you would see on a wine bottle where you can just peel it apart. So that's what they mean probably by a cork material. And you can see here, it's very flexible, very soft, but this is absolutely cork. This is pretty cool. It also says it's both water and stain resistant. I wonder if this floats if you drop it in some water. Um, I'm gonna check that out. All right, I'm back. I have a big bowl of water here and I'm just gonna test and see if this is really a cork-like material and just drop it in there, see if it floats. And then see how easy it is to wipe off or dry off. Here we go. Yeah, as expected, it floats, just like a cork. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not gonna drop the leather in there, but maybe the leather floats, I don't know, but I knew cork would float and this is pretty awesome. So let's see how easy, if you get this wet, how easy this would be to dry off. It dries off pretty nice. They say it's water resistant. And uh, I think they're spot on with that. Just getting it right out of the crevices here. Looks like it's good as new. Yeah, check that out. As expected, made of a cork-like material. It's almost like I never even dropped it in water. I mean, look at that. It's dry as a bone right now. Just, you know, just some water here and little cracks and crevices. Other than that, it's pretty darn dry. And just like his big brother, the leather Apollo, the cork version here still has five card slots and I just put all 10 cards in it. So you can see it's exactly the same. And even the pull tab works great. If I can grab it, here you go. Check it out. Four cards in there. And look at that. Even the top of the pull tab is made of cork. I absolutely love this wallet. All right, guys, let's head over to Andar's website. You can see here the Apollo. So the Apollo they have for 45 bucks which for full grain crazy horse leather is a steel. You can see it comes in one, two, three, six different colors. We have, well, the cork, that's, they're considering that one of the options. Um, olive gray, dark brown, which is out of stock. Uh, black, which is out of stock. Tan, which looks great. And uh, the saddle brown, which is the color that I have here. And that is unfortunately temporarily sold out. And you can put your email address in there and uh, they will notify you by email when that item becomes available. So if you scroll down here, you can see all the key features, which I already talked about. The core collection right here, you can get it in the Apollo, the Scout, which you can see there, the Ambassador, and the Freeman. So there's four different models. You can see they vary in price, 45, 25, 40 and 25 and then you can see right there we've taken four of our wallets made them in the cork which is so cool those are rfid protected too and let's check out andar's other items they have on their site so we have you know items like the ambassador there's the apollo 
the Atlas, the Baron. They have, my goodness, the Caddy, the Capsule, and capsules for your earbuds. Um, cord burritos for your, for your headphones and whatever cord burritos go on. There's the Court Collection. The Diplomat, the Fin, you can see it just goes on and on and on. So this company has a lot to offer. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of Andar's The Apollo Wallet in either full grain leather or this very unique cork model? I think they're both great. I haven't been carrying the cork model. I just thought it was super unique and I actually wanted to do a video on this really bad because I've never seen a wallet made out of cork before. After carrying this, I'm absolutely going to still carry this. Um, I think it's great and Ah, uh, I just love the smell of full grain leather. This smells amazing. It holds all the cards I need. It holds cash effortlessly. It's super quick with this pull tab. We have a quick access card on the outside. Yeah, this one is a winner. I think Andar knocked it out of the park with these wallets. Also, I just wanted to mention, I did finally start a Patreon. I launched it very quietly about three weeks ago and it's still very much a work in progress, but it's getting there and for as little as a dollar a month, you can help support this channel. If that's something you wanna do, it's completely optional. I don't expect anyone to do it, but it's there as an option if you guys want to help me continue to bring you items like wallets, figures, EDC, tech. It all gets very expensive. And as I'm striving to do this full time, Patreon is gonna be a big part of that goal. All right, so that is there and I'll put links in the description box for all my socials. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go.